fine, yeah, no problem at all. I can uh, have that yeah, over to yeah. later this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, and two boxes of them, yeah. the right and the back there. Oh, oh excellent! No, 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 don't worry uh, about yeah. the delivery charge. I'll throw that in as an extra. Yes, not. Yeah, bye. Now, I'm so sorry about that. What can I get you? Dermot gets a little bit temperamental. Strong whisker. You can get me a fucking drink to start with. All right. Wouldn't drink coming right up. Don't give that attitude to my husband. I didn't say anything to him. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Oh. Oh, hi. Dad. What can I do for you? Yeah, honey. We heard that you're around town the last two weeks. Dad, I want a new car. The other one that I got is not good. You want enough. a new car? You better sure. get her the car. She'll bleed and kill you. I'll get you the new mm -hmm. car. But on one condition. Huh? You wear your mare's underpants for me. I will in me how? Not wearing damn yokes. You will wear red and red and right. I like kinky. No, I won't, ma. Now fuck off. Give us a scar, will ya? No, I haven't got it. You do? Yeah. Honey, give her the 20 euro after we're here. <laughs> Don't spill that on the floor. I know what I'm we haven't doing. got the staff to clean it up. I've done this a million times before. Well, have a shave when you're at it. Just have, twist it and... You're not shaving your pubes. Just twist it and it's... Oh. Now look what you fucking did, you clown. I'm getting sick of this fucking kipper. He's all laughing at me. Do you mind if I join you, Penny? <laughs> Take those blooming headphones out of your ears. <laughs> Your father can't hear you when you're speaking if you have those headphones in. You see, Penny? I don't want to hear your father's stories. When I was growing up in 1962, my father gave me a grey jacket, and it had all the tools and accessories in the world. Are you serious? Oh, For I'm very sake, serious. Like, I did 20 quid. Oh, I'm very serious, Penny. And then Brain came along. Take your stupid ideas out, swear. I will take my ideas to you, because when I pass the bucket and kick croak the bucket, you're going to be taken over from where I started off. That's why the jacket you're wearing is I don't a give a fuck, and I'm going to go out and cause murder on the street, and I'm going to rob people's iPhones. The jacket you're wearing is fully equipped, fuck Penny. Fuck off that. I've equipped it with over 2,000 euros worth of gear, including gadget mobile, gadget skates, gadget copter, gadget fuck zips, off. gadget... You, you name it, the gadget and everything is in it. By the way, have you got a hot chocolate? Cause I'm fuck off, off that, will ya? Fuck off, you. Come on, it's getting late. Let's go home and get some hot soup. I want to stay here. Come on, Penny. No way, fuck off. Come on, I'll make you a bedtime story. Oh God, I have an awful headache. Where to put those tablets, Michael? Michael? Comedically tell you, you, you bastard. Yes. Is that the only thing you have in the press? Oh, wait. What's the story? Jesus, that cunt looks like Nidge. For fuck's sake. Is that your man Nidge out of love, Heath? Well, I'll tell you something, right? Why that bollocks out of you? <laughs> I thought it was fucking Nidge till he yeah, started. See, there's something funny about me. When you start to talk and I thought you were fucking Nidge. But now that you're talking, you look like fucking Mary Ellen Walton. Mind you, looks a little bit like uh, your <gasps> man out of... No way! You know your man out of Toy Story? <laughs> oh, for fuck's Fuck sake. me, pig! Come on, put him up, <laughs> shoulder! For fuck's sake! What the fuck are you looking at like that? You! Pour us out a hot one, there. Oh, for fuck's sake! <sighs> Watch where you're fucking going, you! I'll knock the block off you! You hear me? Don't ever make a show of me in front of Cass again. Roy, I have customers coming in here. I don't need you coming over and making shit out of the place, yeah? Yeah, uh, you never seen my son, now. Who's your son? Paddo. Paddo? Yeah. Who the fuck is Paddo? Paddy McNeebo. It is down on Inchy. Inchy Street. Inchy Car? No, I've never seen him, I'm sorry. You must be mistaking me for someone else, yeah? We're gonna put you straight, your bollocks.
You don't look at me like that again. You keep looking at me the way you are, and I fucking put you to the wall. Yeah, come on! I fucking burst your legs open with a hammer. Now I'm going out in my car. Dad, Daddy, Daddy. Dad, I can't understand why casters they treat me like uh, this. Sometimes this happens, hon. You do have to take the way things go. But he called me a hero, and I didn't even say anything to him. I was just standing there, and he called me it for no reason. Well, hon, he's not calling you for nothing. There must be a reason behind it. Maybe you're a leg spreader. I know I was when I was young. You're the leg spreader? Yeah. Who are you spreading them for? For your ma. What was she doing when you opened them? She had a strap on. She rolled the ass at me with her. Well, I couldn't go to work for weeks on. Tell you what. Dad, save your stories. I don't want to hear them. They're a little bit vulgar for my liking. Well, it's not only vulgar what you're now now. Which I fucking had. Look at you. I'm ashamed to say you're my daughter. You have a big ugly nose on you like a tramp. And you spread your legs like a fucking two dollar whore every two hours. Now we have to go to a meeting. I've got a meeting this evening. Life is funny, isn't it? I do for you, you know that. Now I have a job in there for you in two hours. Do you know what I'm going to be doing? What's that? Taking over Charles' job at the community centre. I'm going to be telling everybody what to do. I'm going to be important. Oh no. Yes. This is not happening. I'm getting the big role. No, son. When I got out Carrick's town, yeah? Where? You take care of all this. Make sure you pull out the Christy, fresh stock to the front. And leave the old stale pans in at the back. I've for been doing it for years, Christy. It's called front shelving. Stock ra ra reparation. You bring out the stock to the front. Bring out, leave the fresh pans in the, the back. stock to the front, Christy. Are you that sure way? you're going to be able to manage this, son? Here, take a lend of my box. the tails and going into the field drinking cans. Take a lend of my cane, son. You might need it for the old knees, give in. I'm too, old, too young for this, Christy. You're putting a lot of stress on me down this. Someone has to take over, son. And it ain't going to be me, because I'm fucking leaving. You're not leaving. Listen here, son. Do you think I look like Moses the poses for nothing? Fuck off, Christy. They wanted to get rid of me years ago, but my chin saved me. And now that they're going to give me a shave, my chin was survived under say, Chin up. Now, what's ne who's next? Give us that bar of copies. Here. Yeah. Five euro credit. Yeah, I'll give you a change now, hang on. Hello, Christy, we heard about your ordeal. We hope you're all right. Oh, God, it's not bother. Just need to get the change out of the till. Here. Oh, I'll take it, thank you. Oh, cr no, it's okay, Christy, Christy, are you okay? I'm fine. God bless us. Don't need everybody looking at me, he's it's not a fucking he's circus. Grand. He's grand. You shouldn't be working here, Christy. I just slipped, all right? I was out on the gaggle last night. Is he all right? Penny, what are you doing up at this hour? I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to come over. I was talking to Mama on the phone. She said you should be in bed. Are we not allowed to kiss in the house, though? No, you can't. If you want anything like that, you have to ask me for permission. Well, may I have your permission? No, you may not. Oh, fuck off. I'm going to do it anyway. Listen to me, young woman. Mm -hmm. I don't want any of that. Ma just made me dinner. Where did you get those Woody Allen glasses? They're certainly not out of my jacket. Off Grandma's corpse. Hmm. Sounds about right. Ah, uh, please, don't tell her. I'll just borrow them. I'm not gonna say a word. <laughs> I have to go. I'll see you later. Okay, Penny. I love you! <laughs> Rub off the sofa, you you can't you? Rub off that sofa. How long are you standing there? Is there anyone else in here with you? As long as the chin on your face. What's but? <sighs> Listen, I'm going to tell you something now. Do you recognise me? You have a head like a pedate with two pimples stuck to the front. I oh, used to be a nothing on the snapper. Oh, so that's who you are. Don't and you were from somewhere, you mad bard. Yeah, I had a daughter called Sharon. Not remember. That's your man up Gerald Borges Road on the car. Yeah? You don't never know who he was, yeah? You never know who he was. How you know? You never forget a face, son. Now listen to me for a minute, and I'm gonna make it easy for you. You get your lazy no good for a sack of bollocks off that sofa. 
I don't care how many strokes you took. I took a fucking stroke, you. You'll be taking a bigger stroke now in a minute. If you keep annoying me, you bastard. You'll be taking a stroke all the way. Do you think I look like a fucking Ronnie Drew or something? No. You look like Ronnie Drew. At least I don't look like Willie Drew. Yeah. I'm Willie drew the wrong direction now, but <laughs> Willie back a bit. <laughs> now, honey, if I give Christy a run over there, I told him not to be doing too much hard work. I hope you're not picking on me dad again. No. Just need you telling him what to do. Not at all. Right? He knows that he's doing himself, Max. Not at all. You were his granddad. Look. Put that tea towel there. The other one's manky. Yeah. It wasn't washed in two weeks. Well, Christy keeps wanking into me all the time. <laughs> Listen. Father, I need you to do me a favour. You wanking into the towels? Will you give me a haircut before I pass over? I don't want anyone to see me dead in the coffin like this. You won't be able to wank into the tea towels no more. I might have lost the use, use of my arm, but I still have the use of my mickey. Well, you could always ram your dick up against the wall. Oh, father, don't say that. Now, I must sit down. <sighs> Any chance of a shag? No. Oh, there you are, Max. We were just talking about the weather. Supposed to be a bit cloudy out today. A little bit of sunshine down no, the I'm west. I'm not sure what you're saying to me. We didn't say nothing, love. Don't tell you. <laughs>